Welcome back to the Crochet Crowd. As well as my friends over at Yarnspirations.com. This is an older pattern. This is a Peyton's pattern from many years ago. The pattern has been retired but I am reviving it just with writing it. It still remains a Yarnspirations pattern. Just so you know that um, you can do multiple colors like you see. I just don't think this looks pretty cool. I like it as a solid color. You can decide what you would like to do. This is an applique flower. You can sew it to anything that you wish. You can do wreaths, hats. So you can sew it to your pant bottoms. Whatever you would like to do. And that's what we're gonna get started. You're looking at two rounds today. Just the beginning round and also then the finishing one like this. And uh, it's actually related to the small one. So here is the difference of the sizing. So you can see that you can mix and match these particular flowers. So let's begin to do this one here. You'll need a F as in Frank hook. That's a 3.75 millimeter. And I will be using Peyton's Grace today on camera. Let's begin and we are going to start off with a slip knot onto the hook and you are going to chain a total of eight. So starting and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven and eight. And I want you to slip stitch it to the beginning chain to form the center ring and just leave this straggler so that it's wrapped around the ring so that it gets stuck into the middle of the flower. Let's begin officially round number one. Let's do round number one. You're going to chain three which will count as a double crochet and in the center of the ring I want you to double crochet again. There's technically three double crochets in a row but you'll finish the third one when you come back around. I need you now to chain six. So one, two, three, four, five and six and into the center of the ring three double crochets in a row. So we have one, two and three. So this here chain six is considered a petal. So you'll do that again. So chain six. So one, two, three, four, five and six and then three double crochets and I want you to do this concept all the way around until you get to that sixth petal and I will see you uh, make sure that you chain your six for the final petal and just meet me at that point and I'll see you there in just a moment. So I'm coming all the way around. This is the final chain six. So you can see that there's one, two, three, four, five. This is the sixth petal and you are going to double crochet then into the ring just one time because the other two are already sitting there because we did those right at the beginning and I need you to slip stitch then to the top of the chain three. And then we're officially then going to begin the second round and let's begin to do that next. Okay, let's begin to do the next round. So you're just going to slip into the next double crochet and then slip into the chain six space. And then you, that's where you're going to begin. So this time we're going to then chain up one and we'll do one single crochet into the first a loop and then you're go going to do one half and then in the same loop you're going to do seven double crochets. So let's count those. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Once the seven are in you're going to half double crochet and single crochet it all into the same loop. So it's one single, one half, seven doubles, one half and a single and that's in each petal. Once you have this done you're going to chain up one and you're going to go to the middle double crochet of the grouping of three and slip stitch and that'll hold that into position then you'll start another petal. So chain one before you begin and come right to the chain six space. So you'll do one single, one half, seven doubles. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six and seven. And then you are going to then one half, one single. Chain one, come to the middle group of the, the three, slip stitch and begin that all again. So please do that all the way around. I'll see you at the end of this round. So once you come all the way back around you just did the final petal. You're going to chain one. You'll slip stitch it to the middle one of the group and then you'll chain one 
and then slip stitch it to the beginning single crochet that you started with way over here. And then that'll be it and you wanna just pull through. I accidentally <laughs> finished this flower without actually filming it because I was so excited about it. <laughs> so I want to just take this through a tapestry needle, turn it to the back side and if you wanna sew this to something you can, probably use the same color just to make sure that it blends really well and you wanna just glide the straggler through the back three times. And then you can safely cut it and the beginning one if you did go over the straggler like you were supposed to you can safely cut that out too and if you didn't then just use a tapestry needle and that's what this larger flower would look like. Have a good one. We hope to see you again real soon. Bye bye.